Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking at Pam's Place. I'm Chef Pam and today we're getting ready to make easy, when I say easy, I mean easy, creamy chocolate ice cream. Oh my goodness, you may never buy ice cream from the store again, at least not chocolate. Oh my goodness, it is just absolutely amazingly delicious. And if you want to learn how to make all kind of homemade food and dishes, easy, simple, made from scratch, take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell so you won't miss anything. And then just keep hanging around because I have a whole channel full of recipes that'll get you there. Let's get busy. Okay, we are back. Let's go over our ingredients. And as usual, I'll have all the ingredients down in the description so you can make it in your kitchen too. First up, well, let's start with the store of the dish, our cocoa powder. You will need some unsweetened cocoa powder. This creamy chocolate ice cream is just so simple, so easy. This is one of those recipes that you can get your kids in the kitchen. Bring them in, your grandkids, let them make it for you. It's that easy. Peanut butter, and if you don't like peanut butter, can't eat pe peanut butter, any nut butter will do. That choice is yours. You will also need some heavy cream. You don't want the dairy or you don't want the heavy cream. You can also substitute this for milk, almond milk. That's your choice as well and you'll need some bananas. Yes, guys, bananas. Now, I know it sounds crazy for bananas and peanut butter to be in chocolate ice cream, but this is amazingly delicious, and it's so chocolatey. You just won't believe it. So, let's go ahead and get this chocolate ice cream made. Okay, now, before we actually get started making it, there are a couple of things that you'll either need to do beforehand or that you will also need. First, you will need a container with a lid. I am simply recycling this container because I like it for my ice cream. It holds it well, the lid snaps on perfect. You will need something like this that you can also put in your freezer, so I wouldn't suggest a glass. Uh, container, but any type of Tupperware dish or anything like that will work. So you want to make sure that you have a good fitting lid on it as well. The next thing that you'll need to do is slice, peel, slice, and freeze your bananas. So I actually did that last night, so they were in the freezer overnight. You don't have to freeze them overnight as long as they're frozen. So if it takes three or four hours in your freezer to freeze them, you could do it same day. I just cut my bananas up and make sure I put them in a Ziploc bag, tightly sealed in the freezer overnight. So that's about it. And as usual, I try to tell people when you're getting ready to cook anything, get all your ingredients lined up so you won't have to run health to skelter all over your kitchen. So that's about it. You will also need a food processor or a blender. Either one will work fine. Um, I'm using my food processor. As you all know, I don't use a lot of gadgets, but this is my favorite gadget along with a hand mixer. So we're going to be using the food processor today. Feel free to use a blender. Okay, so the only thing that we're getting ready to do now is put all of our ingredients in the food processor. How easy is this? Oh my goodness. Put them in in any order. I'm going to go in with my bananas first since they'll be closer to the blade. Set that aside. Going in with my cocoa powder. my peanut butter, and heavy cream. Like I said, for the heavy cream, you can use almond milk, milk, anything like that. Now from here, we are just going to process this until it is nice and creamy.
processing this on high. Make sure you go in at least once, blender or food processor, and scrape down your sides. Get all that goodness from down around the sides of it. Also, too, if you are using a blender, you will need just a tad bit more heavy cream than you would for the regular um, recipe. And I'll leave that instructions and that information down in the description as well. Okay, let's get the rest of this processed. Okay, I think we are all done here. Oh my goodness. It's so creamy and it smells delicious too. Amazingly delicious. I want you all to see this, how creamy it is. Look at that. Look at how creamy that is. Oh my goodness. Go ahead and put it in our dish. And I only made about half of what the recipe calls for, but I will leave the full amount in the description box so from here you want to get it in your container smooth it out and then freeze it now it is edible like this if you want a super super soft serve but I like mine to just be regular ice cream like so we will absolutely freeze this for at least two hours so I'm gonna go ahead and get this in my freezer and we'll be back for a taste test when it's all done. Okay guys, we are all done, we are frozen. I have been taking it out. Just wanted to scoop one with you all here. Then we're going to do a taste test. Oh my goodness, this smells so delicious. Mm -mm -mm. It's so creamy. Okay guys, once again, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today in my kitchen. Doesn't that look amazingly delicious? Look at that ice cream. Mm -mm. Delicious. Mm -mm. Let us get a taste test. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm. Ooh, I love me some chocolate anyway. Oh my goodness. Don't forget to give the video a like share it out and tell everybody you know that Pam is over here at cooking at Pam's Place cooking up amazingly delicious meals that you can make in your kitchen too. Easy, quick, and simple. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, mmm. Oh my goodness. Mmm, thank you so much once again for coming and hanging out with me today in my kitchen. And I will see you next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Delicious. Mmm.